Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 30 bread and butter bolos for you guys, items that I bought low and sold for $35 or less. These items I picked up at estate sales, uh, thrift stores, garage sales, anywhere I can source. Um, YouTube auctions, yes. I love sourcing, it's my favorite thing to do. And if you guys haven't checked out my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, be sure to head over there because I've got thrift with me videos. I'm going to be doing garage sale videos. So head over there if you haven't already. Okay, let's talk about some bread and butter items. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. These items sold on eBay, and I do have them cross-posted to Mercari and Poshmark, and they sold faster on eBay. So let's get started. All right, maybe. All right. Um... The first item is this Scentsy Buddy. Now, I picked up a Facebook haul, and this is one of the items in it. And this scent pack, I don't know what scent it was, but it smelled so good. Um, I put it inside the Scentsy Buddy, and I think I put it in a Ziploc bag, and the whole tote, even though it was in a Ziploc bag, my whole tote smells like Scentsy Buddy. Um, which thank goodness it smells good, but I ended up selling this for $24 and the buyer paid shipping and I've got like a buck or two in it from a Facebook call. It was like a bulk buy. You guys know me. I love my bulk buys. The next item is a super awesome item. It was a pleasant surprise. Um, this is a rare Thomas the train. Um, not a whole lot were listed and if you go down here, I have a video that shows how the item works. So um, I do have a video that shows you how to add an, a video to your eBay listing. If you want to check that out, it's on my channel. Um, I, I auctioned this. I was hoping it was going to go for more, but it ended up selling for $29.99, which is great because I paid $0.25 cents for it at a thrift store. It is the Crash and Repair Thomas and Friends. So um Definitely be on the lookout. This is from the motorized railway railway train. All right, the next item I sold is this Noah's Ark chunky animal necklace. And this came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I sold this for $14.40 and the buyer paid shipping. So they're just like painted wood uh, beads, but it's Noah's Ark theme. Super, super cute. And there it is. The next item I sold is this Cherished Moments Miniature Tea Set Raggedy Ann Artisan Flare Michelle Yam. Now, I kind of took a chance on this one. I don't know why. I was kind of drawn to it because it was kind of like a puzzle. And I thought that that was kind of neat. But I know that Raggedy Ann is hit and miss. But um, I actually have a thrift haul on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies where I actually pick this up. And I paid $4 for it and I ended up selling it for $25 and it sold really fast. So I don't know, I was happy. And the buyer paid shipping on that one. The next item are these vintage baby shoes. These either came from a garage sale or an estate sale, I cannot recall. And I probably had a dollar or less in them because that's typically what I pay for items like this. I sold this for a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is, man, eBay is slow tonight with these tabs. Um, this Bratz Rock Angel stage. I went to a garage sale and I got a ton of Bratz items for a really good deal. I don't even remember what I paid for it, but it at this point in time, it is all profit because I've sold so many items from that lot. And I ended up selling this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. So basically what I did is I parted out the items that I got. Um, from that haul like there were other stage items, but it was just so confusing and it was easier to part out The next item I sold is this 1988 baby Aptosaurus it's a six inch dinosaur figure and I like selling these minifigures um, They're plastic and usually the heavier plastic ones I will list separately if they will bring me ten dollars or more I ended up taking a best offer of $11 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these Fisher Price Loving Family dolls. Now I could have sold these separately, but there were a lot listed. 
So I kind of wanted my listing to stand out. So I allotted them up and put twins in the title. And I sold these for a best offer of 20, or I'm sorry, I my sale price was $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these vintage 1984 Remco Dream Bears. They're little poseable figures, like their arms and legs move. Um, I think these came, oh, I remember, these came from a garage sale um, for 50 cents. And I took a best offer of $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item sold to Zombie Bargain Hunter, and he really likes Pokemon and zombie themed items. And this little guy has a little defect. So I'm wondering if a zombie is going to fix it up and resell it or if this is a keeper for him. But it was really, really nice of him to support the channel and purchase this item from me. So thank you so much, Robert. I appreciate you. And congratulations on hitting 2,000 subscribers on your channel. That is awesome. So if you guys have not subscribed to Zombie Bargain Hunter, please take a minute and go over and show him some love with a sub. That's my new thing. Show him some love with a sub. Um, let's see, what was I going to say? Oh, he does tons of plush. He is like, he knows his plush and he has a thing on how to clean them and stuff like that. So definitely go check him out. $9.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And that one, I think I got at a garage sale for 50 cents also. I typically pay 50 cents to a dollar for my plush. That's kind of just my rule of thumb, unless it's a plush that I know is a bolo or um, that is going to sell for 15 to $20 or more, um, like a higher bread and butter. Then I'll pay up, you know, two or three bucks. If it's going to sell for 50, I might, I might pay five. No, I, I might go up a little higher if I know for sure it's going to go for 50. What do you guys typically pay for plush? Put your info down in the comments of what you like to pay for your plush items. All right. The next item I sold is um, these vintage sports cards and shout out to Chosen Goods Reseller. She bought these from me for her husband to go through and... Um, I have no idea anything about sports cards. There could have been a million dollar card in here or they could have been like, throw throw them in the trash. I had no clue. Um, so I just threw them in a pile, took a picture and put a price on them. And um, she ended up buying them. I don't know if she's gonna resell them or what, but um, that is Carissa over at Chosen Good Goods Reseller. She has been a great support to the channel. Definitely go show her some love with a sub. All right, the next item I sold is this vintage little Nemo multicolor rhinestone brooch. Now, um, let me get you a close up here. If you look, there are a few stones that have been replaced. Like you see that big pink one? That does not look like the other ones. The cut is a little bit like on the top, it's bigger. So you can tell it doesn't quite match. So it's not in its original condition, unfortunately, because this piece is very, very old. Um, and I just disclosed that I thought that um, they had been re replaced. I could be wrong, but you can see that pink and that clear, they really kind of stand out as looking a little bit different. Uh, let's see. I sold this for $32 and I picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar and the buyer paid shipping. So um, let me show you the brand on the back because this was not one that I was familiar with. I had to do some research to find it. So Little Nemo, I don't know. <laughs> All right, the next item I sold is this Tree of, Life, Tree of Life necklace and it's on a rope. And I picked up a lot of jewelry um, necklaces to be exact from Donatella Bottolino's auction. And this was one of the items that was... Um, it, they were more high-end items. So I had about $8 each in them when it was all said and done. This one sold pretty quickly. The other ones are a little more fancy and I've got them priced higher. So they're going to take a little longer to sell. But I sold this for $22.39 and the buyer paid shipping. And if you haven't checked out Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you, there is a link down in the description. You should definitely go check out their auctions. The next item I sold is this USS Taylor um, snapback hat and i picked up oh my goodness probably 20 or 30 of these at a garage sale for 50 cents each 
And um, they're long tail. You got to wait on the right buyer. But I had the nicest message from somebody. I don't know if it was this one or another one, but they messaged me and they're like, thank you so much. Um, I was on this ship. I think they called it a ship. Can't remember the exact words, but basically to the point of that hat is a memory for them of that time of their life. So it was kind of special and pretty cool. So I sold this for $18.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item sold super fast. I picked these up at a thrift store for 50 cents and they sold very quickly for $22. Now, the only thing I did not like about these is you see that little yellow thing in there. So these, whatever's in there is floating in water, which is really neat in itself. Um, but it was even cooler when I saw that they were um, 1 20th, 12 karat gold filled. Now, is that a lot of gold? No, but it's still pretty cool. And they sold for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this celluloid rattle. And I sold this for um, $10 and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this at an estate sale for $1. The next item is this NHRA drag racing unicorn Pontiac car. Now, this isn't typically something I would source to sell, but I just thought that unicorn was cool. And I found it in a box of toys. And I was like, it's got a unicorn on it. I bet this will sell individually. And I just kind of wanted to see. And it sold pretty quickly. Um, not super fast, but quicker than I expected. And it sold for the full asking price of $9.12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came out of a dibble box from Donatella Bottolino's auction. It's a NASA patch. And I thought at first that it was really old, but it's not. And um, it actually sold quicker than I thought because there were others listed. And I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Minions Bob with a Teddy Bear Light Up Thinkway Toys. And again, I have a video down here that shows how the item works, which I do honestly think helps sell your item. And I got this Facebook Marketplace haul and I sold it for $24.32 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this. <laughs> you guys look how horrible this is. It's on my mannequin, which is like a... Uh, I don't know, like a, not a child, not a baby. <laughs> and this is like for an infant. <laughs> That's awful. It looks awful. Anyway, but it shows the, the costume. This came out of a mystery box and it was a Halloween mystery box. And I sold this for $18 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And if I remember correctly, this one went internationally and it's an in-character little monster infant Halloween costume. The next item that sold is this vintage Rhineco dollhouse sofa couch chair furniture miniature toy set. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $20 and it came from a garage sale and a small lot of dollhouse furniture. So really cute little set. The next item I sold is this other vintage dollhouse miniature furniture metal stove. Now this came from an estate sale in a box of um, vintage dollhouse items. I sold this for $17.48 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage made in Hong Kong plastic toy school bus and the, with the little bears. Now this would have been a better item if the hinge would not have been broken on the playset, but it still had all of these little accessories and people that went with it. So um, that definitely helped. I sold this for $18.99 and I picked it up at a thrift store for $1. The next item I sold is this mounting goat. So like the dinosaur, this is one of those um, harder, heavier plastics. This one is vintage from 1997. And I forgot to put vintage 1997 in my title. I typically do that. And I don't know why I forgot, but I did. Um, I auctioned this and it just went for my asking price of $9.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And that just came out of, I don't know, maybe it was a mystery box or it could have just been a toy lot that I got. The next item is this incomplete Angry Birds pig teardown set. I got this at a garage sale. It was an incomplete set, but the bag was still sealed. So I just went ahead and sold it as bag three. I sold this for $15.20 and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see right here, it does have one of the mini figures inside of it. So that helped sell it also. The next item I sold is this Barbie dress. And this one came from a thrift store. I bought a bunch of Barbies 
And I pulled this dress off of one of the Barbies because I knew that it was a good one. And I sold this dress for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage 1984 Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, the Ghostbusters figure. And this also came out of my vintage um, box of toys from Auctions For You. And again, I paid $100 for that box. I have already made my money back plus some, and um, I still have a ton of stuff to list. So definitely go check out that unboxing video with all of the screenshots. The next item I sold are these pens, and they did not have any backs to them. And these came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay, and I sold these for 20 I think it's $24. I took a best offer and the buyer paid shipping. The last item I sold is this spiral big curls wig. And I sold this for $15, the buyer paid shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale, probably for like a buck. It was kind of like one of those bundle buys, but it's super, super cute. I thought it was going to sell fast. It reminds me like of Annie or something like that. Like I think the girl that had it used it as a costume for a dance thing she was in. She was in dance. Um, I was at that garage sale for a long time and she was, I'm going to say 17, 18, maybe. Even 19 years old. And she was selling a bunch of today. It was one of the where you're kind of like, I wish I would have been there on the first day. Uh Oh, my, uh, it won't let me click on the tab. So anyway, I got some really great stuff from that sale. This wig is one of the items and my computer is completely rotating. I wonder if it's still recording. Hmm. Huh. Do you guys see the wheel? It's spinning. What does that mean? I've never, oh, there it quit. All right, let's see if we can get over here. What is happening? Oh, here I am. So I don't know. I hopefully, hopefully you guys could hear me while that was going on. Um, I don't think I've ever had that happen before. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. And I've got big money bolo videos available also, not just bread and butter. So definitely go check out one of those. As always, thanks for watching.